I've recently discovered this new AI tool called Notebook LM. Notebook LM can take your notes, YouTube videos, PDFs, and turn them into study guides, FAQ, or quick summaries. And it doesn't stop there. It can even answer questions based on your documents and generate a podcast style conversation to help you absorb complex ideas on the go, saving you tons of time and all of that completely for free. All right, so get this. You tell your AI assistant a cheesy owl joke, uh -huh. and it actually gets it. Okay. It even throws back a Houdini pun. Nice. Today, we are diving deep into building your own AI assistant. Whether you're prepping for exams, organizing research, or creating content, it will help you streamline your workflow. You can even use that tool to create the knowledge-based documents for your VAPI AI assistant that I've been talking in other YouTube videos. In this video, I will show you how you can use it to do all of what I've just said. Before we dive in, if you are new here, my name is Donna and I've been diving deep into AI for over three years now, working with businesses to automate processes and create AI-powered solutions like AI voice assistants, for example. If that sounds interesting to you, feel free to book a free discovery call, link in the description of the video. I've also launched a school community where you can ask questions and connect with like-minded people. And I also run some Q&A session in there. So if you would like to join, the link is also in the description. Now let's get into it and dive into Notebook LM. In order to start with Notebook LM, you need to go to notebooklm.google. So let's get started and create our first notebook. And in order to do that, we have to click here on Try Notebook LM. Here you will be able to see all of the different notebooks. Uh, as you can see, I haven't named any of my notebook, but to create a new one, you have to click here on New Notebook. And this is like where you will add all of the different sources from all of the different documents. And you can add documents from Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides, website links, YouTube links, and also paste the text. And what I wanted to do here is create my next YouTube video about real-time API from OpenAI. So this is a new API that have just been released yesterday in, during the OpenAI Dev Day, and I wanted to make a video about it. So I'm gonna do some kind of like study first and research a bit and see what is that about. So I will go on this website right here from OpenAI, take the link, then copy it, and then go right here, and then click here on link website and add that website. And as you can see now, it, there is an error. So usually it works, but like this time, I don't know why with the OpenAI link it doesn't. So I will find another way to do it. And the other way to do it is to go directly on this website, click right, again do print, and then export it as a PDF. And then I can add that directly as a PDF to Notebook LM. So to do that, I click on right here on the plus. And again, I go here, I choose my file. So in this case, it's this one. And now I can directly add that file into the document. So you can even use like books, for example, like you can directly upload a book and then it will also work out of that, just so you know. And what I'm doing here is I added that file. So now it immediately says the OpenAI Real-Time API is a WebSocket-based interface that enables developers to build low latency multimodal conversational experiences. So as you can see, it's already like summarizing that one document. And now I can add other documents. So here I have a YouTube video that talks about OpenAI Real-Time API and builds a Twilio voice AI assistant with Node.js. So I can also add that video. So I just have to click here, copy the video, go back to my notebook, click here, click on YouTube and then paste the link. And this doesn't work 100% of the time. It, sometimes there is no transcript and it doesn't manage to get the transcript. So in this case here, it doesn't work. Um, so I will also remove it. And what you can do is you can simply add the whole transcript yourself. So you can click here on show transcript, copy all of it, click here on copy, then go back, then click here. And then you can go on paste text and you can directly paste the, the content of it. So now we have both the, like the page from OpenAI and also the YouTube video, and we can start creating other documents. So for example, if I want to create a study guide, I can click here on study guide, and then it will automatically generate my, uh, my study guide in order for me to, to be able to um, study that resources. So yeah, so it takes a bit of time and then it automatically show what it created. So here you can see I have a new note and this is the title of my note. And then I have a quiz. And here it says, answer the following questions in two or three sentences each. So now I have a list of questions that I have to study. So I will read the question 
go through the document, trying to find a response, and then add that response into another document, maybe. And then I can compare with the answer of this paragraph right here. So this can be pretty useful if you're studying things like math, maybe, or if you're like having a specific topic you want to study. I would say if you're a student, this is actually pretty good. And you can also have this with OpenAI, but you will have to manage how to prompt it. While right here, you just have to do it. You just have to click on one thing and it automatically works. So there's other things that you can do as well, like generating, like for example, the, the FAQ. So if I click here on FAQ, it will automatically generate the, the FAQ uh, for that specific content as well. So now it generated this uh, FAQ and this is pretty useful if you have a restaurant or if you have a hotel and you want to create these pages where you say like the different questions like does the hotel has a swimming pool? How does it work with the bookings? This type of information you can directly generate with AI. You can also do it with ChatGPT, but you will need to know how to prompt right, right here. You just with one click automatically generates this content. And what you can do is you can use that also in your AI voice assistance on VAPI. So, and for VAPI, you can take the website of your client. You can directly paste it uh, right here on the sources and then you can ask it to generate an FAQ. And then you can use that FAQ to add it into the AI voice assistant and it will automatically use all of the content of the website to automatically generate that FAQ and make your assistant able to answer all of these questions based on their website. So that's, that's actually really, really useful. As you can see, you simply have to click on these buttons and then go to the note and then you will see it. The next thing that you can do is you can ask questions. So here I can say, what is real time API about? And now it adds the question there and it will use these resources to generate a response. So this is what you can typically do with ChatGPT. And now, as you can see, it creates the response and it also say where it got the information from, which is pretty useful. You simply have to over it right here and then it automatically tells you where it finds it. Uh, so the next thing that you can also do is you can directly ask it to generate content, for example. So you can see based on this document, generate a YouTube video idea. You will generate a title and a quick and a small structure. Now we can wait and it will automatically do whatever I, I've just asked it to do. This can be useful if you want to create content, for example or if you want to ask uh, to generate specific type of content, so LinkedIn post, Twitter thread, etc., etc. So here, as you can see that it gives me the title and also like the, the structure of it. So in this case, it's kind of like not so good because I use the YouTube video to generate another YouTube video. But like if you add different type of sources like blog posts, LinkedIn article and all of that, you can then generate uh, pretty good uh, content. And finally, the last one is that you can generate a podcast. So here you can click on generate, then wait some time and it will automatically generate the, the podcast. Now, the last step is about the podcast as I was talking about. So if you click here on notebook guide, you can have access to the podcast once you generate it. So I'm going to play the first 30 seconds and I will leave the whole audio file in the description or actually in the school community. You will be able to go there and have access to the full audio because you can also download it right here directly. All right, so get this. You tell your AI assistant a cheesy owl joke uh -huh. and it actually gets it. Okay. It even throws back a Houdini pun. Right. Today we are diving deep into building your own AI assistant, one that you can actually talk to and that has like a personality, yeah. and, like a unique personality, just like yours, you know? Yeah. We're not just texting chat GPT here. Yeah. We are talking next level personalized AI. Yeah, so what's really cool here is that we're moving past those basic chatbots. Yeah, yeah. We're using OpenAI's real-time API. And that means, imagine an AI that understands and responds. As you can see, it's actually really, really impressive. Like I've been listening to a couple of the um, Notebook LM, like on LinkedIn or on YouTube, and I was truly amazed at the quality. Like you have like really good voices. They are interrupting each other. They have like all of these different sounds like uh-huh, yeah, and so on. So that's that's like really, really good. And if you're a business and you want to create, for example, a podcast based on your newsletter, you simply have to paste the newsletter here on Notebook LM, click on generate and you have it. The only really annoying drawback is that you can't change anything on it. So you don't have access to like 
the script. So that would be probably the, the next step for Notebook LM is to be able to see the script, change the script, and automatically generate the audio file. And all of these tools are completely 100% free. So that's what's truly amazing to me. So you can simply register on Notebook LM and try them out. And that's how Notebook LM can completely transform the way you organize your notes and research. Whether you are a student, a professional, or just someone trying to stay on top of your personal projects, having all of your resources in one place and being able to ask questions and also generate some documents and even podcasts is a complete game changer. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want more AI and productivity content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.